There is an incredibly powerful and useful way to use Microsoft Teams to make your classroom more exciting and to make your workplace more productive. Hi, my name is Frank. This is Learning and Technology and I'm glad you're here. In this video, I want to show you Microsoft Teams on a mobile device. If you like this video, go ahead and hit like. If you want more tips like this, hit subscribe and share with colleagues that could benefit from this video. Let's take a look at mobility in Microsoft Teams. Okay, so here I am and I'm going to start a new meeting. So let's have a meeting and we're going to have a new meeting about our new hike. We're going to do our Great Divide Trail plan for 2022. So we're going to have a meeting and what I want to do is I'm going to go in and we'll start this new meeting and over here you can see this phone here is my friend Bruce, Bruce Wayne. And right now, this meeting's great. I'm going to have a meeting. I want Bruce to come in here. And the reason I want Bruce to come in here is because he has some resources on the Great Divide Trail. And he's not currently uh, in his office. He's actually outside. Now, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to just be, you know, in another room here. But what I'm imagine that I'm outside. Imagine that I'm mobile. Imagine that I'm in a taxi or wherever, whatever might be happening. Imagine that I'm doing that. So Bruce is going to go in and he's going to join this meeting because he can see that there's a meeting happening. Now, when Bruce joins the meeting here, he'll put the device into the meeting. You'll notice it starts off that he can't hear anything. His audio's muted. So I'm going to put the audio on and I'm going to listen through my iPhone. So I'm listening through my iPhone as to what's happening. I can hit the ellipse here where I get many of my meeting options. I can start recording the meeting. I can turn on live captions, which is really handy if I'm in a noisy environment. I can put myself on hold. I can even share out in this room here. So I could share a photo or video or share my screen or a little PowerPoint off my phone. I can go back into the ellipse here, raise my hand, go to the dial pad. Um, this is a very handy one where I can start the video with a blurred background. So if I'm in a cafe or an environment where I'm surrounded by strangers, it would be I really don't want other people to be in the background so I can start the video with a blur and I can even uh, turn off the incoming video. So I'm going to turn on my microphone so now you can see that I'm unmuted and people will be able to hear me in the meeting and then I'm going to turn on my camera. Now you'll notice with the camera that this little image here I sort of get a view of myself but in the meeting it's going to be zoomed up a little bit more than that so I can move this around to wherever I might want to move it and one of the things that's really handy that I can do here is I can actually press this little icon up here, which allows me to switch to the front facing camera or the rear facing camera. And that way, for example, let's say I have a resource that I want to share. So I have a resource, I have this book that I want to share with you. What I can easily do is just hit that little button. And when I hit that little button, it switches the camera and I can actually point to a resource. So let's say, for example, there's a map or something that I want to share with you. I can share that map with you and then I can just switch back and I'm right back to having my front facing camera. Hello, everybody. Hel welcome to the meeting. And then, of course, when I'm done, I can just hang up on the meeting. And the cool thing about this is that imagine that I'm outdoors and you want me to explain something to you. So, for example, let's say I'm a specialist and I'm going in and you want me to show you how to repair um, a, a part of a car engine or let's say I'm on my mobile phone and I'm going to join a meeting because I have a bunch of students that want to see how um, a naturalist checks a beehive. I'm making some of this stuff up as I go along here but the point being is that this really expands the possibilities of how we can have mobile participants as part of our team meetings. And not just mobile for somebody who's, say, in a business setting, but imagine if somebody has cellular service and they're actually out on the Great Divide Trail hiking. They're in an area that has cellular reception and they can actually participate in our team meeting and show us the scenery and show us what's in front of them and talk to us and answer questions. Well, I get pretty excited about this and I think it's something that's worth exploring. I hope you found that demonstration interesting and that it sparks some ideas of how you can incorporate mobility in Microsoft Teams into your classrooms or your workplace environments. 
I think it's a fantastic way to really extend the reach of everybody that's part of your organization and to bring the outside world into the team meetings. Thank you again for watching. If you liked the video, like and subscribe and share with colleagues. And here's some more videos from the channel that you might find interesting.